So you're telling me that a cocktail could cure my hearing loss? Just a few short months ago, we got word that biotechnology company Frequency Therapeutics shut down their clinical trials for their FX322 and FX345 hair cell regeneration therapies. This news was incredibly disappointing to the hearing loss community because it was our best chance at potentially curing hearing loss by restoring hair cell function inside of the cochlea. But on April 18th, Mass Eye and Ear sent out a press release announcing that their scientists develop a drug-like cocktail that could eventually lead Lead to the regeneration of human hair cells. Apparently, these researchers created a combination of different molecules that was able to regenerate hair cell function inside of mice. To quickly bring you up to speed on hair cell regeneration, the cochlea, which is your hearing organ, has inner and outer hair cells. The outer hair cells help to naturally amplify sounds inside of your cochlea, increasing the vibration of the basilar membrane. The inner hair cells, on the other hand, detect this vibration of the basilar membrane and convert it into a neural impulse, which travels up your auditory nerve to your brain. The outer hair cells control audibility of sound, and the inner hair cells control the clarity of sound. Damage to these hair cells account for over 90% of all hearing losses throughout the entire world, which is around 430 million cases. These inner and outer hair cells typically become damaged by a variety of things, including age, genetics, noise exposure, chemical exposure, medical conditions, or even head trauma, and once they're gone, they do not come back. So naturally, if scientists could figure out a way to regenerate or regrow these damaged hair cells, they could, in theory, cure hearing loss. Now, there are three different forms of hair cell regeneration therapies that scientists are working on right now. The first one is molecular therapy. This is what FX322 and FX345 were doing. This is when you inject these chemical compounds inside of the middle ear space. They permeate the round window, making their way into the cochlea, and then they stimulate the progenitor cells that are inside of the cochlea to regrow new hair cells. The second is genetic therapy. This is when human genes are altered to allow for the regrowth of these damaged hair cells. And third is stem cell therapy. This is when stem cells are reprogrammed to regrow hair cells inside of a lab, and then scientists have to try to figure out how to get those stem cells into the cochlea once again. Now this new drug cocktail that these researchers were working on was really a combination of molecular therapy and genetic therapy. In previous research, Dr. Chen and his team studied zebrafish and chickens because these two animals can actually regrow damaged or missing hair cells. In that research, they identified two different pathways, one called MYC and one called NOTCH. And when reactivated, these allowed for hair cells to start dividing to create new hair cells inside of transgenic mice. Of course, these MYC and NOTCH genetic pathways do not automatically activate inside of humans like they do inside of zebrafish and chickens, which means that we will need to find a way to activate them either using molecular methods or genetic methods. Now, we have already known that a chemical called valproic acid was capable of activating the NOTCH pathway. However, activating the MYC pathway has been something that has eluded researchers until now. Okay guys, hopefully you're learning something in this video so far. If you are, make sure that you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And if you wanna stay up to speed with what's going on with hair cell regeneration, you might wanna be subscribed to the channel. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and talk about how these researchers unlocked the MYC pathway. What Dr. Chen and his team figured out in this research is that it's more about preventing the human body from restricting the activation of the MYC pathway rather than it is about activating the MYC pathway. To address this issue, they used a different molecule called small interfering RNA to prevent the suppression. Dr. Chen explained this using an analogy. Think about a brake when driving a car. If the brake is always engaged, you can't drive. We found a small interfering RNA that could remove this brake in the genetic pathway. In addition to these two molecules, they also delivered a transcription factor called ATOH1 into the inner ear using a harmless adenovirus for transmission. ATOH1 is a protein that influences gene activation and is critical for hair cell development and regeneration. By creating a drug-like cocktail, including valproic acid and small interfering RNA molecules with a virus that carries ATOH1 and delivering it into the ear of a normal adult mouse with damaged hair cells, 
they were able to turn on the MYC and Notch pathways and regenerate new hair cells that were deemed functional through advanced imaging techniques. Essentially meaning that this combination of molecular therapy and genetic therapy could be the answer to regrowing hair cells and restoring hearing function. But before we all get too excited here, they actually have to do this in larger scale animal models. And then once they're done with that, they have to start going through the clinical trial process to determine if it's safe for humans to use and ultimately if it's effective. And based on what I saw with frequency therapeutics, I expect this process to take between five and 10 years and there is no guarantee that it will work. Now, chances are, if you decided to watch this video, you probably have a hearing loss and you're looking for a cure right now. Well, I'm right there with you. However, if you're among the 90% of individuals who has a sensory neural hearing loss, which means that you could receive benefit from hearing aid treatment, you should probably start treating your hearing loss right now so you set yourself up better in the future whenever a hair cell regeneration therapy does work. Considering that the cure for hearing loss is likely years or even decades away, going through auditory deprivation throughout that entire time is a horrible idea. Especially when you look at all of the research since 2000, 2011 that has linked untreated hearing loss with cognitive decline and dementia. All that being said, it is exciting to see that researchers are continuing to work hard at solving this problem, and I believe that at some point in our lifetime, we may actually see a cure for hearing loss.